guys i'm super excited to tour the stone cottage airbnb that has so much character so much history the perfect getaway for couples for families like i'm just super excited stick around because you're gonna love this one remember to like comment share subscribe follow me at rushlin on all my social media pages and let's get straight into this video let's go well, Ryan, I want to say thank you so much for having us. Yeah, thanks for coming. Yeah, we're so excited to tour this lovely stone cottage. All right. So we are inside the living, dining, kitchen area. Now, I noticed that there are shiplock boards on yep. the walls. And this part of it is wooden. I'm seeing the wooden ceiling, mm -hmm. where the lights are hanging. When we get into the bedroom and the bathroom, we're going to see that that's stone. Yeah. Well, how is it that inside here is wooden and not stone? Did you do the renovations in here? Well, this area, this room was the original structure. So it was like a little wooden, like a, a fisherman's cottage or something like that. Because of the lake. And so... This is a, one of the older structures in the neighborhood too. It's 1909. Wow. And so from 1909 until the mid fifties, it was just this, just this room. Mm -hmm. And uh, before we renovated, there was a kitchen and a bathroom in this. Oh. Where this kitchen tile is, was both the kitchen and a bathroom. Mm -hmm. um, and you can see over here, there's like little footprints from kids dated. There's Ow. a lot of. I, I was wondering if they were your kids. Oh no, I, I mean these are like from Jack these are and from Joe? Yeah, those are from the 40s. So this is like 1947. I noticed that you have these candles. I've never seen a heater with candles like this. Yeah, so we were trying to avoid having a fire. Yeah. In here this this chimney's old and doesn't have a flue and it's just kind of like straight, you know, out. And then like if you have a fireplace i don't know if you've ever had a fireplace they're messy you know and so they're hard you know wood chips everywhere and yeah. and stuff like that and so we just wanted to provide like a little heater and some ambiance and so we found this little candle heater and so yeah. you can plug it out cranks out a little bit of heat and it's yeah. you know it's uh really it's great for light What's the story behind this couch? This the is couch? A, this is an interesting piece of furniture. Yeah. There's a lot going on. Tell me. This what's... couch was in the main house when we bought it. Okay. And my wife's like, she does design. And I thought she was going to like not be into the couch. But she loved it. But for out here. And so it's a hide a bed. So it's very heavy. I had to take it apart. And we brought it out. Really? in sections but uh other than that it, that it came with the house and that it just sort of fit the cottage vibe uh -huh. here we just it's actually quite comfortable the foam on it i think it's very interesting because you're seeing the hills and the valleys you're seeing the lakes yeah you're seeing some cottages you're seeing some barn style houses you're seeing bridges you're seeing a lot it's very much like where where we're in yes, in, in so the mountains does, of north carolina it does fit the outside <laughs> Yes. But it's quite interesting. That takes care of the living room space. We move over to the dining room area and the kitchen area. Was mm -hmm. this recently renovated? Yeah, this was part of the main renovation we did to make this so it would work for Airbnb. Okay. the white cabinets being paired with the butcher block countertop but what I love especially is the fact that these cabinets are labeled so on the top of the door you have dishwashing over here it has pots and pans and when you open it it actually has the pots and pans I love that there's a full-size stove inside with an oven the coffee station is perfect for the coffee lovers there's a mini fridge perfect for putting in just about whatever you'll need the bins great there's a trash bin one for recycling and over in this corner there's a microwave and a toaster oven and they have provided stuff like salt and black pepper oil and things that you can use in the kitchen and i'm loving the fact that they have maintained some of these older kettles and kerosene lamp and things like that to kind of continue to tell a story of this place. Mm -hmm. 
these windows bring in so much light that makes the space feel bigger than it is. Really, the selling points of this place are the bedroom and the bathroom. The bedroom and the bathroom. Yeah. Giving it that stone cottage vibe. Yeah. Some glitter in them. Yeah, that's natural, I think. That's natural. Yeah, there's a lot of granite in the hills here. Oh. And I think um, that's just um, quartz or gypsum oh. or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I was that. thinking that you painted some no, kind of that's, glitter. That's paper. granite. So we have granite stones, quartz countertop. Yeah. Having the white finishes and white all around the warm lights, bringing in mm -hmm. that nice warm feeling. And then you have a shower tub? Yeah. A tub shower? Okay. Just a big, a big old tub. And that was more important for this sort of relaxing than just like a shower. And there wasn't a there wasn't enough space in here to do a shower and a tub. So we did sort of like a shop, a tub shower. Yeah, where it's like the feature the main focus is the tub, but you can shower in it too, kind of thing. I mean it is interesting just looking at how it's placed and how you've been able to bring down the, the boards to meet it. And then they have this 360 degree curtain that yep. closes it up. Um, you have the tub shower feel. I'm, I'm, it's, it's, it's interesting. Yeah. It's interesting. It goes with the vibe. All right, so the infamous bedroom, huh? Yeah. Quite cozy. Yeah, it's cool with the stone on the walls. In Very here. cool with the stone. And the bedding goes well with the stones. Uh, a good choice. Yeah. Is that you or is that your wife? That's my wife. I oh. take very little credit for that. Okay. I'm loving the night lights. Yeah, they, they really have a nice glow too, especially when it, and it's dark. And, yeah. And... Uh, there nice we go. warm light. Nice up the warm wall. light inside. Yeah. It does feel cozy. Can I tell you? I I didn't have an expectation before coming here. Oh, I yeah. just came hoping for the best, and then when I got here and felt how warm and cozy it is, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Great choice. Cool. You guys did a very good job. Yeah, it's a, it's a like you're saying. It's quiet here. You know, it's a unique place because it's in the mountains. Mm -hmm you know and it stays cooler here than it does down in the lowlands and a lot of people come here to hike and enjoy the outdoors and you know yeah walk the neighborhood or go see hendersonville yeah so it's it's cozy it's an it's a relaxing area and uh this goes right along right along with it what i like is that inside is very cool but I noticed that there are three mini splits inside. Did you get the place like that or did you install all three? And also, I noticed that they're also strapped to the wall. They're not in the wall like a, a normal house would be. So talk to me about that. Oh yeah, so when we, when we got it, originally there was a furnace, but the furnace was dead. Mm -hmm. You know, so for years there wasn't any cooling or heating. So I got these uh, Mr. Cool units that you can put in yourself. And, and at first we just had the one in the main room because mm -hmm. when we did the estimation, it said it was enough. But ultimately in the winter time, because mm -hmm. these both heat and cool, mm -hmm. right? And people would come up from Florida, they're used to it being hot and they'd be like, it's cold, you know? And so I ended up putting them one in each room, the main room and then the ba ba bedroom and bathroom. Mm -hmm. And it helps 
keep it nice and cool mm -hmm. in, in the summertime and uh, it heats it well in the winter. So um, it's nice because they do both. And the reason why they're out, outside is you don't really have much choice with the, with stone, the stone, wall, stone walls, you know. Gotcha. How long has this been on Airbnb? I think three years. Three years? Yeah, about that long. Okay, and what has your experience been so far? It's been, it's been great. Nice. People are very respectful. Yeah. You know, I, we expected to have some, you know, like, ooh, that person really left it messy or, you know, but generally it's, like I said before, there's a lot of couples and people just coming up to relax and, mm -hmm. and uh, we've met a lot of really great people. People, some people want to chat, some people want to just relax, you know, and so, you know, we have the outside fireplace. Sometimes people have fires and, you know, want to, want to talk and other people just want to keep to themselves. But we've met a lot of great people and uh, we enjoy doing it, actually. It's fun. That's yeah. good. For those of you that are looking to book, I definitely 100% recommend it. The link will be in the description bar below. It can be found on Airbnb. So click the link, book your stay, tell Ryan that Rochelle sent you, <laughs> and enjoy your time. I want to say thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me at Rochelle on all my social media platforms, and I'll see you in the next one.